It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Thursday, the 11th of October. I'm Michael Groff. Continued below average temperatures and unsettled weather will be the rule around here for the next several days. Tropical storm Sergio will pass south of Arizona, and so that means high levels of moisture will be around all the way through the weekend for continued rain chances. Next week, somewhat of a forecast uncertainty. So let's talk about all of it as we look at the almanac from yesterday. 84 degrees for the high, 60 for the morning low. Both of those are seven degrees below average. And outside right now here at 5.45 a.m., some clouds out there, even a few passing light showers. We start this day out at 68 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 54, humidity 60 percent, light wind, and the barometer is steady. Temperatures across the area this morning, low 60s in the cool spots, low 70s for us in the urban core. Water vapor satellite view, the upper look across the country, a trough out here in the west, a short wave diving down the west coast. There's Sergio well off the Baja, but moving to the northeast. And Michael, now a tropical storm over South Carolina. And on the watch warning map, we've got freeze warnings across the Plain States, extending from eastern Colorado all the way up through Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Illinois. Tropical storm warnings continue for the Carolinas. Tornado watches in effect there. Some flash flood watches, a few flash flood warnings because of rainfall coming down in areas where they don't need it, where they were devastated by Florence just a couple of weeks ago. And on the convective outlook, a slight risk of severe storms in association with the circulation of Michael. Could see some spin-up tornadoes for the eastern Carolinas up through Virginia. And here is Michael on the satellite now. It has weakened, of course, but still spiraling there and centered over central and eastern South Carolina right now, continuing to race to the northeast. The latest advisory has maximum sustained winds at 50 miles per hour. But when I say this thing's moving fast, I mean, by Monday morning, the center of circulation, it'll be a post-tropical cyclone at that point. It'll be near Ireland. Meanwhile, in the eastern Pacific, we've got Sergio. It's approaching the Baja later this afternoon. It'll be over mainland Mexico tomorrow. Direct impacts from it here in Phoenix will be minimal uh, could see some locally heavy rain in the far southeastern portions of our state, however. Speaking of rain, taking a look at the outlook from the WPC. This is valid through next Thursday morning. They've got amounts around a half inch for a pretty broad swath from southeast California through much of southern Arizona, including the valley. So let's get into the details of our weather now. We'll look at the models and see what the future might hold. Here we go. The GFS. This is the 06Z run valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Trough continues here over the western states. A short wave dives down the west coast. Sergio approaching the Baja, southwesterly flow aloft. And so down at the surface today, partly sunny skies. We'll have a chance of showers off and on through the day. It's certainly not going to rain all day, and we will see some sun. But just know that passing light showers, maybe a rumble of thunder possible, maybe a, a heavier shower, especially over the higher terrain, of the rim country of Arizona today, but I don't think any rainfall amounts are going to be too staggering, probably just a few hundredths of an inch for most of us, if you see any rain at all. Highs this afternoon, upper 70s and low 80s. Tonight, a continued chance of showers. We'll have lows mostly in the 60s to near 70, and then tomorrow, again, partly sunny. Sergio will be well south of us, south of Nogales, could see a rain band or two from the center of circulation make its way all the way into south central Arizona, including Phoenix. But the heaviest direct rainfall from this is going to stay mostly south of the border, maybe down toward Douglas and Sierra Vista. They see some heavy rain. Otherwise, just kind of off and on showers, maybe a thunderstorm tomorrow. Highs again, mid and upper 70s. Now, on Saturday, we've got this low coming down the California coast, another follow up short wave and it sort of briefly closes off into a closed low. And so we'll continue to see some diffluent flow aloft and enough dynamics for a continued chance of showers and thunderstorms, probably a 40% chance each day with highs mid and upper 70s. And again, rainfall amounts are mostly going to be light. There could be an isolated heavier amount, but generally speaking, we're not talking about anything more than about a tenth of an inch for most areas. Then on Sunday, a little short wave dives down through the Rockies and clips the four corners, helps to scoot our closed low off to the east across southern Arizona through the day. So the best chance of rain over the weekend should be Saturday afternoon through Sunday morning, maybe Sunday midday. And then we'll see another lull in activity Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. Highs on Sunday generally in the mid and upper 70s. Now, some of this energy may break off and form yet another closed low for the first half of next week. We'll watch that because... 
On Monday, the GFS depicts a backdoor surface front moving into New Mexico. The pressure gradient really tightens, especially with a cutoff low still south of us. So breezy conditions, partly sunny. Highs should be in the upper 70s to near 80. Don't think we'll have any rain chances on Monday, though. The same thing on Tuesday. Breezy conditions, highs, low 80s, partly sunny skies. On Wednesday, we're going to continue with what I would call a pretty low confidence forecast with a cutoff low meandering over the southwest. Temperatures should remain below average through much of next week. Highs, upper 70s, low 80s, somewhere between maybe 79 and 83 each day. And a small chance of showers and storms, especially over the higher terrain. But we can't rule out one or two of those getting into the deserts. And we're going to continue with that on Thursday. This is a week from today, the 18th of October. The reason this low can't go anywhere is because we have high pressure building in over the Pacific Northwest, the Great Basin, and throughout much of the interior west. So there's nowhere for it to go. Same thing for Friday the 19th. And here is the end of the 10-day forecast period. This is Saturday the 20th of October. One of the very first things you'll ever learn in meteorology. A cutoff low is a weatherman's woe. And this is a textbook example of that with the cutoff still remaining here over the southwest if this verifies. So we'd still have unsettled conditions and below average temperatures. Speaking of, let's take a look at the temperatures through the period coming off of the National Weather Service Best Blend product. And it's got highs remaining below our climatological normals all the way out through much of next week. There you see the normals and yeah, our bizarre October continues. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. Plus your comments, questions, suggestions, they're always encouraged as well. Be safe out there and have a great Thursday.